I went looking for video of the flame wheel today in response to a viewer uh, message and found this. This is the flame wheel on the DJI uh, landing gear that you could buy at that time. I ended up putting a 3D camera, two GoPros underneath that thing in the time. This is back in 2014 after I had run up my rover. Then after I did everything with the rover, I reproduced that with the Honey Badger quad. And then after that, I got to playing with verticals so bad that I bought this Hexa and played with all of them for three or four years. I liked them. I really liked this frame. But this is an example of what I was talking about the other day of taking the props off, turning them upside down, and rotating them through position. One position, clockwise, counterclockwise, and just know which way you went so you can reverse it when you get finished to get it back in proper shape. But you're going to see with this platform, and it's strapped down to the same piece of plywood you saw in the other videos that I've had for 10 years or more. Uh, now you're going to see what I was talking about and why I said it from experience when this thing squats and then you can never tell what might happen. I forgot completely about this. Plus, it's the old days. It's a Futaba radio sitting there next to my notebook running Mission Planner. Mission Planner versions 1.3.16 or something. It's barely away from the 1.0 <laughs> days. Uh, and I could say this is probably two years into my playing with these things. But this is an example. You never can tell what might happen. Now, I'm going to let the whole video run out. It's just an old video of mine that's uh, eight years old of the flame wheel. Like I say, wanted to show the one set of landing gear I had for this one. Uh, but when I saw this video... And what actually happened back then, I just had to share it. I'll pick it up on the end, and we'll see what we can come up with. Installed the new compass, compass wire. Now it's time for compass motor calibration. So I was afraid of this, so I strapped it down to the board again. And this is the way it works. Oops got the safety switch there we go okay here we go yep broke four out of six props the turbulence was so bad that's why I strapped it down to move the props around one position and turn them upside down so it pushes down into the platform. That's all for safety's sake. So I replaced all the broken props and set up to do it again so I could get the platform calibrated for motor compass calibration. You'll notice at the end of this video, I also had on a full face shield. I had it on the first time too, thank goodness. Safety switch again. Here we go. And basically done. A little nerve-wracking, but has to be done. There's the full face shield. And unplug it. Here's what it looks like on the Mission Planner software for calibrating Heading the... Heading to waypoint home. Altitude is zero. 
Ground speed is zero. Mode motor. changed to stabilize. Motor ESC current. How it affects the compass. GPS. This is what uh, happens on the screen. Just didn't really see. Heading to waypoint home. Altitude is two. Ground speed is zero. Starting calibration. Current. There is a little bit of current running all the time, so that shows. But we'll run up the motors. There we go. That's about all there is to it. Calibration successful. Heading to waypoint home. Altitude is 3. Ground speed is 0. Calibration successful. It saves the values. I just wanted that to play out so you could actually see the compass uh, motor calibration. It's supposed to compensate for the interference, electrical interference of going through the current like that. Uh, I do it every time I build a copter in our do copter. Uh, I also thought it was funny. I you know, you never can tell if a box will fall off a shelf and crash down on you while you're doing something. It just vibrated off the shelf that day. And I thought I would share that as a little humor while I also was able to share the landing gear that was on the flame wheel at one time with a viewer that I'm messaging with. Uh, it's kind of a blast from the past, too. All right. Have a few laughs. Thank you, guys.